What's up YouTube, Jerry Land here with Nova Tech, and today we're kind of out of town, as you can see, new set. I'm outdoors, so sorry if the mic sound quality isn't the greatest. I'm trying out a new mic as well, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Today I'm gonna show you what I think are the three most necessary accessories for you to get on day one of getting your Nintendo Switch. We're gonna get mine unboxed, we're gonna check it out, and then I'm gonna show you the accessories. Stick around. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, here we go. Okay, so, I forgot a knife, and I'm too lazy to go get one, so we're gonna try our best to get this tape off. Come on, come on, yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, so here's the story. Uh, I forgot about the pre-order, because I was an idiot, and it was already 11 a.m. the day of the pre-order. Everywhere was sold out. All of a sudden, GameStop came back in stock, and I was able to get my pre-order in. Unfortunately, it was for the gray model, but I'll go ahead and show you how I remedied that, because we all know everyone wants the neon-colored one. <laughs> Guys. We got the Switch! We got the Switch. So, here it is. In all its glory, this is the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, I have the gray color. Let's go ahead and get this box open, see what comes inside. So the Nintendo Switch, if you don't know, this guy is a portable gaming system that can also be played at home. So it's the best of both worlds, really, because when you're on the go, you're playing at 720p quality, but from what I've heard, you can't even tell a difference. And then when you dock it into the docking station onto your TV or your monitor, it becomes 1080, which is good enough for me. So let's check it out. So when we open the box, the first thing we see are the Joy-Cons and the game console itself. Let's show you. First impressions of the Joy-Cons. Very light, nice and small. I actually really like the gray color. I didn't think I would, but the gray looks nice and clean. I like it. It is very nice to hold in the hand. I like that a lot. You got the buttons up top, A, B, X, Y. First impressions, I am liking this. So, Joy-Con number one. Joy-Con number two. Let's see what it feels like to have both in my hands. So I like this little ridge that comes up right here. It's nice to hold in your hands. I like that a lot, guys. Feels good in the hands. Joy-Con controllers, like them. All right, there's the Joy-Cons. Now to the system. I'm not like those YouTubers that like to save the goods for last. I like my dessert first. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This looks clean. There you go, little BTS, you can see my rig right there. But guys, it's nice and small. I think I really like the size. I think if it were any bigger, I might not like that. I'd say this is maybe a little bit larger than an iPhone 7 Plus. Maybe the size of like an Amazon tablet. First impressions, very well built kickstand. Ooh, I don't want to break that, I felt like I almost broke it. Uh, kickstand feels a little flimsy, so be careful with it, and I've heard that it only really works well on hard surfaces, so... Yep, kickstand works fine for me, but I've heard that anything other than a hard, flat surface, your switch is gonna fall. I see a game card slot up top, headphone jack, fan, good. Volume rocker, power button, obviously on the sides, the Joy-Con slide in, got a kickstand on the bottom, and... USB-C. Guys, I love that. I'm going USB-C everything right now. Hopefully the next iPhone will be USB-C. Very nice design. The micro SD card goes right under the kickstand. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's get our first impressions of sliding the Joy-Con into the console. Also, sorry about the birds. Again, we're outdoors doing my best. Ooh, that's a nice click. All right, let me get closer so you guys can see. Here we go. Here's a nice up close Hopefully you can hear the sound. Ooh, that felt good. How do I get these off now? Oh, there's a button on the back. You click the button. You can get it right there. Ooh, that sounds good. This feels really good to hold. The last console I had similar to this was the PSP in high school, and this guy feels way better. Gosh, the screen looks good. I gotta be careful. I'm putting this to the side. First impressions, I love it already. There's actually a lot of stuff in this box. So next up, I see a strap for the Joy-Con. This is very welcomed because I was actually worried that when I was watching commercials, blah, 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 I thought that I would have to buy this separately, which would be stupid. This is just like a little strap to make your Joy-Con a little bit thicker, but also there's a strap so that you don't lose it when you're playing your crazy games. So Joy-Con strap, here's one, and here's the other. 
You got two of them. Next up, we got a full-sized HDMI cable. Looks decently long. I love that they include that, thank you. Here's the power adapter, USB-C cable. All right, I did not know that we get this. Guys, you got a little Joy-Con controller in here. That's dope. I don't think this is the charging one. I think this is just the regular Joy-Con controller. It has some LED indicators right here, so it'll probably show you how much battery is left in each of your Joy-Cons while you're playing. I've heard a lot of people talk about how this is super uncomfortable and they don't like this at all. They either like using the Joy-Con separately or using the Pro Controller, but this feels decent to me. It's not bad at all. When I had the GameCube, I had the mini GameCube controllers and I love those. This feels kind of like that. Last but not least, we got this guy right here. So this, if you don't already know, is the docking station. Looks like this. Made out of plastic, got some rubber feet at the bottom. The back door opens up so that you can feed your cables. It's even got some cable management, which is kind of cool. So you got the AC adapter, you got a USB port right here and HDMI out. Close that up, nice and neat. On the side, you get two USB ports. That's pretty cool. And of course, USB-C docking station down there, love that. And then you got a little LED indicator at the bottom showing that you have signal going to your TV. That is everything that comes inside the box. Now for my top three accessories that I think you need on day one of buying the Nintendo Switch. These will all be linked in the description below, so if you wanna pick one up for yourself, definitely go there. First up, we have the Carry All by a company called Surge. This is just me scouring the internet, and this is the best one that I found. This is a carrying case for the Nintendo Switch. You can fit your Joy-Con controllers in here attached to your Switch still. And I think my favorite part of it is that the bottom actually has some groove cutouts for the Joy-Con controllers. So it's not just a perfect rectangle, but it's actually designed to fit perfectly with your Nintendo Switch. And I like that a lot. So inside, you also get a few compartments to carry some of your Nintendo Switch game cartridges. You get an extra little pouch right there, maybe for you to carry some cords, charging cable, blah, blah, blah. This is a pretty dope case. And again, not sponsored. This is me scouring the internet, trying to find the best case out there for my own Nintendo Switch and telling you guys about it. So let's get into it. So pretty simple packaging. Inside you get your case and that's it. Let's put this aside. Right off the bat, I like it. It's a nice soft finish, like a soft matte rubber finish, but it's a hard case. So this is gonna protect my Nintendo Switch. As you can see in the back, these little indents are meant perfectly for the Joy-Con, so you don't just have some weird rectangle and you don't have to take off your Joy-Cons to put it in a case. This guy is perfect. I like this a lot because of this gray finish. I saw a lot of the ones out there are black and they're just kind of boring, kind of plain, whatever. This one, nice light gray finish that actually matches really, really well with the gray Joy-Cons. And I just thought it'd be cool if it matched the gray Joy-Con, but also if you put the red and blue Joy-Cons against this, they would stand out like crazy and pop out and look really good. So let's check out what's inside. So inside you got these little straps to hold down your Nintendo Switch so it doesn't fly around inside the case. And it probably shouldn't even without the strap because this is a pretty perfect precision fit. Inside you get an extra little flap. So on this flap there are eight total slots for you to fit eight different cartridge games. I saw a couple cartridge carriers for these Nintendo Switch games that were kind of cool but also kind of unnecessary because even if you have a bunch of games, this fits eight and I'd rather just carry this pouch with me when I go anywhere than have to carry a pouch and a game cartridge set. So I like that this was integrated. Inside you got a pretty deep pocket. I thought this would be nice and snug, but you've got a little room in here so you can fit quite a few cables, maybe even a portable battery pack in here. I have some pretty slim ones that I know will fit in here. So this is the case. Let's go ahead and throw the switch in, see what it looks like. Super easy to get the switch in there. And look, I'm even putting it upside down, fully upside down, and the switch doesn't fall out. It's nice and snug. It's a really perfect fit. From the left and right sides, it fits very nicely. Let's close it up. And there you go, guys. My Nintendo Switch is protected. I, again, love this cutout. Nintendo Switch, nice and safe in here. This is a Nintendo Switch case by the company Surge. This case is nice and cheap. You can get it from Amazon. Go check it out in the link below. Number two, along the lines of protection, we got this guy. This is the official Nintendo Switch screen protector, but this is the premium protection. So uh, I know that they sell a cheaper one, but this one, it's not that much more expensive, and I think it's way worth it to protect your Nintendo Switch screen. So this one's called the Premium Protective Filter. There's not that much to say about it. I'll install it later, but I'll link it below right now. Number three on the list, I didn't know that it came inside the box, 
but I picked up a little grip for the Joy-Cons, but this one's special. This is the Joy-Con charging grip. So what's cool about this one is it'll actually charge your Joy-Con controllers while you're playing, which is definitely a nice feature. I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this guy up and compare it to the one that came inside the box so you guys can see what the difference is. But if you for sure know you're not gonna be the only one playing this Nintendo Switch, you're gonna have at least one extra player, I think it's worth it to pick this guy up. And even if you're the only one playing, this one has charging features, whereas the other one doesn't. So, I think this one's still worth it. So inside the box, we get, ooh, a USB-C to USB-A cable. Very nice. Was not expecting an extra cable, so that's cool. And we get the grip, of course. So first impressions of the grip, it looks a little bit different. It's got this matte black gray finish, but it's clear, which is super dope. It looks cool. But the main difference here is that this one's actually going to be charging your Joy-Cons, whereas the other one doesn't. So if you're playing at home and then you want to take your Nintendo Switch to go, your Joy-Cons might be out of battery. But if you have your Joy-Cons in this while you're at home playing, it'll be charging it. So when you're on the go, your Joy-Cons will be fully charged as well. So one of the main differences I see right off the bat is at the top, you'll see a USB-C port and a little LED indicator, whereas on the other one, there's nothing up top. So, that is cool. I am still glad I got this. I was a little nervous when I opened up the box and I saw that there was one in there. But, as you can see, they look almost exactly the same. This one is just a full matte solid finish, whereas this one, you can see, is kind of clear. You can see through it. So at the top, this one has a USB-C port whereas this one has nothing up top. So this is the charging grip for your Joy-Cons. I definitely recommend this. So now I got two of these, but I only have the gray Joy-Cons that came in the box. What do I do? Well, if you guys missed out on getting the Neon Joy-Con Switch and were super bummed about that because you only got the gray one, just go pick up a set of the Neon Joy-Cons. Guys, I'll link this below as well. This isn't part of my top three accessories. This is a bonus add-on, so if you really, really, really want the red and blue controllers, just go pick them up separately. Let's open them up just for fun to see what they look like because I haven't seen the red and blue ones in person. This is really unfortunate that I did not bring a knife today. Here we go. First impressions of the red and blue Joy-Cons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, that blue looks good. Ooh, that red looks good, guys. Ooh, I am excited. This is like more of like a neon, this is like a neon salmon, neon red, orange. This is actually one of my favorite colors. Think of Nike. Okay, if you're a fan of Nike and you know the colorway Solar Red, this is what the red Joy-Con looks like. And the blue one looks like a, like a neon blue highlighter, royal blue, kind of sky blue. I don't freaking know, but now that I've seen these guys, if you got the gray Joy-Con switch, I have to recommend you go get these. These look incredible. Ah, oh, I'm so excited I got these. Okay, so this top three might've just gone to a top four, uh, but yeah. And let's see, does it come with anything yet? Ooh, yes. So you get two extra straps just in case. Damn airplanes. Gosh, I am never, filling outdoors sucks. Last but not least, I picked up The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. You'd be crazy to pick up the Nintendo Switch and not get this as one of your games, if not the first game. So on day one, I picked up this guy, as well as Mario Kart, but you all know Mario Kart got delayed, which was super frustrating. I'm actually interested in every single one of the games, but another one I really wanna pick up is Just Dance, cause that's actually a really fun game. Bomberman was also one of my favorite games growing up when I had the original Nintendo system. And then last but not least, I really, really hope I know it's not out or not announced, but I hope they come out with Super Smash Bros because that's one of my favorite Nintendo games. So Super Smash Bros, please make it happen quickly. Mario Kart won't be out till end of April, I think. And then the other games are pushed back and back, which is so annoying. I don't understand. You guys need to come out with more of the games sooner, but I'm super excited to play this all day today. So that is my full unboxing and recommendations for the top accessories for you to get for your Nintendo Switch on day one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content on this stuff or anything else coming up very soon. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you picked up a Nintendo Switch, which color Joy-Cons you got with your Switch, and what of these accessories that I recommended to you that you might be picking up for yourself. Remember, everything is linked below if you wanna go pick it up for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jerry Land with Nobitech, and to the next one and beyond.